as a rheumatologist, we have a, a very, um, our patient population, the people that come in through the door to see us have pain, and frequently they have pain from osteoporotic fractures. And also they're on medications that lower their bone mass and create osteoporosis. So we use in our practices many medications, well, medications to treat osteoporosis. There aren't very many right now. We have anti-resorptive agents, which include the bisphosphonates and uh, denosumab. And then we have one anabolic agent, teriparatide, which we use. Patients need to take a, an injection once a day for, for two years. Uh, we need more medications that will increase bone mass or be anabolic agents. And we're hoping that a valparatide it is a bone forming agent, appears to have more bone forming activity than resorbing activity, so the bone mass appears to go up a bit faster than it's, we see with teriparatide. That, if approved and safe, as far as we've seen now, there have been no safety signals. We're going to welcome this compound um, to treat our patients with osteoporosis that we see in our rheumatology practices. I appreciate that question, you know, we, this looks like a wonderful medication to increase bone mass. And as we then have a medication approved, it's always important for us to use it, understand how patients in our practices tolerate it, and understand how it works in the real world versus sometimes can be different from the studies. It can work a lot better. <laughs> so, looking forward to it. And also other indications. As rheumatologists, we treat patients with glucocorticoids to help reduce inflammation and prevent organ destruction in their terrible diseases such as vasculitis. Glucocorticoid-induced bone loss is the second most common cause of osteoporosis, and many of our patients have it. Therefore, although this medication has not been tested for its effect to treat steroid-induced or glucocorticoid-induced osteoporosis, we're hopeful that those studies will be done and we'll also be able to offer this to our patients that uh, have severe bone loss from Google.